and we're Yo. live. Yo. What's up? Mang and Need Show. Sonic Garden Radio. What day is it? It's Friday. May 1st. Mang and Need Show. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of the Mang and Neat Show, live on Sonic Gardens Radio, uh, where we uh, share banter, Mang and Neat. a little Sonic Gardens music, and, uh, you know, daily topics of the day. So, oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> topics. And now, to the desk, we're looking to get... Uh, thousand subscribers so if anybody out there can hit that subscribe button to the like desk button and uh you know to the desk mr joshua needham what is up oh and then i missed it <laughs> missed my cue clunky all right hey what's up josh hi all right guys today, how we doing intro music is provided live by Mr. Christopher joining us in the studio for the first time in our uh, since the the early uh, start of this since the breakout yeah. of 2020 20 uh yeah uh <laughs> yeah um well, so, hello. Yeah, what is it? Today is our 47th day straight really? of running this uh, show. Oh, and yeah. uh, we've added a new element, bringing back in Chris to give us some live music. Oh, yeah. And the soothing tunes. Shipped them back in. So, uh, you know, like we were saying yesterday, we were talking about uh, getting an acoustic show going. Oh, yeah. So anybody out there wants to join the cast, we can uh, figure out a way... Um, well, we've got it all set up so that we're just like me and Josh. We're in separate rooms. Um, we're we're definitely in a full uh, social distancing. Uncle yeah. distance. Yep. So that's what he's got going on. Yep. Um, so yeah, again, we got Chris giving us some live tunes here today, and tomorrow we're gonna have. Buckshot's Shots brother, brother. Uh, performing some songs on his acoustic guitar. And oh, yeah. Man, he is, uh, you know, he's been keeping straight. I, I always keep in with Benny. He's always uh, releasing tunes on Facebook, doing live things, different parts of the house, outside, wherever right. uh, wherever it fits, man. And, uh, oh, yeah. and he's always, you know, in always the basement. Uh, killing it. So uh, just really happy to, to be able to get him in and uh, and do it here in front of the lion. Oh, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> yep, untouchable. So, uh, you know, I got the camera view right now on the uh, on uh, Chris's spot where he's going to be kicking out the tunes. And, Hot uh, jams. And as you can see, he's in front of a, a beautiful, beautiful mural painted by our good friend Ryan oh, Warner, yeah. the animal doctor, the animal doctor, um, yeah, the animal doctor. <laughs> <laughs> He's not even an expert. He's a doctor. So, uh, uh, you know, hopefully we get a call in from from Ryan. Yeah. Uh, so Remember, he was telling what he was telling us about rats and gators. And there's another reason he's a doctor, but I forget. So yesterday's cast, if anybody's curious, uh, the only people lucky enough to catch the full cast were those joining us live. Uh, after it was uploaded, I got a kickback of a copyright claim Un -fucking that, real. that completely blocked uh, the entire episode from I being... I mean, they couldn't just mute their part? Like, what the uh, fuck? Or, or sometimes that blur happens. it out? Right, and in this case, it's because I took it from Netflix. And, oh, uh, man. Netflix is a no-no. They don't fuck around. Um, so anyway, I ended up going through, and I was able to just cut out 
uh, that I cut the podcast right where we went into that oh. just to like keep it up. So uh, I do have the tail end of it that I'm gonna mix down and I'll release as like uh, uh, day 46 and a half or day 46 part two or day 46 concluded. But uh, you know we went on for quite a bit after that. So um, you know there was some there was some good conversation. Until Josh had to go get some food and bail out. Oh, well, left. It happened. It happened. And then we got pulled. Like a fucking... We got yanked. Oh. Cranked. Yep. And pulled. Pulled. Yeah. Like a mower. Um, so what's going on in that... What's going on today? What do you got? You have any? Did you watch any fucking videos or any good stuff? Oh, that fucking one you sent me last. I'm on a roll already. That one you sent me last night. I, I'm telling you, <laughs> I got I got into it about you wouldn't until he said you wouldn't believe this. Yeah, that guy. No shit, cocksucker. But that's like it's another thing. That's just his thing. He Can gets you, play- you to click on it? Well, I mean, you got me to click on it, but yeah, I get it. Yeah. yeah. You clicked on it, though, first. And as soon as I saw his face, but I clicked on it because it said Newsweek. Yeah. So I was like, oh, Newsweek. Them piles of shit. They, and they I was like, ripping off a of Newsweek. <laughs> they just put the little tag up top and, right. then, and made some claim, and then you open it up, and the guy is such a dork. Oh, and like, man, beyond so it. One time, I, I the reason why I recognized him right away was a while back. It, I can't remember what exactly the thing was about. But he uh, he came on his uh, so his clip opens up and he's like in the dark like and he's whispering into the mic you know oh one of boy. those about they've they've uh, located me and they're coming to get me oh, and I man. have all this information and what's uh, he doing crack yeah Fuck. and it's just funny because it ends up being just straight up a uh, um, a thing are you uh you live right now or are we is there any like issue with your what do you mean? internet connection or something why you lost connection. No, I just, uh, I can't. What can't you do? Well, I seem to be live. Okay, here we go. Sorry. All right. So, hey, why don't we, uh, you what know. What are we doing? Why don't we bring in uh, Chris and ask him what has been going on, Chris? How you oh, been? there he is. Hey, I've been doing good, man. Doing oh, good. there he is. Thank you, guys. Yeah. 80 plus hours live entertainment. Oh, That's yeah. right. Man and me. Uh, hey, <laughs> what do you got for us? That's it. So That's you, all you, you got. You've been a fucking on, paragraph. You've been gone. He's in the middle. He, dude, he's in the middle days. of uh, in the middle of some art over there. You know. Oh, yeah, but he can do both. I mean, I'm sure. Yeah. He, I'm sure he could talk and pee. Can he? I don't know. That's a, that's challenging. Uh, what to talk and pee? It can be. Oh, I mean, not, if you're a pervert, it might be challenging. Um. <laughs> What do you got, Chris? What else you got? No. Oh. All right. No one can see you. They You're can the... now. Oh. I'm bringing them in. Bringing them in with the ty- lion. Bringing them into the corner. <laughs> to the lion. The lion's den. There we go. Now we got a nice arrangement. Oh, yeah. Um, Welcome to lion, 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 There he is. Three boxes. Big box and two little boxes. Who's that? <laughs> oh, yeah, 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 the front end. I thought somebody came in or something. No, no. That would, we don't want to know that. Yeah, so there was, there was that one, and it was about how uh, I can't remember, man. I tell you, I only watched it until you wouldn't believe this. No, motherfucker, I bet you I don't. Uh, <laughs> you know, oh, you know what I did, uh, I did find. What did you find? And that was, um. Is this a joke? Oh. No, I found, uh, like, did you, what about this, uh, how the, uh, Michigan protesters. Michigan. The Michigan protesters. That, they, like, that woman the, governor uh, from Michigan. Yeah, they, they like, uh. They protested at the Capitol yeah. while they were debating whether or not to open up again. And they showed up and they were, uh, you know, fully armed, as is their uh, God-given right. 
the as a human. people? Yeah, so the, the people, protesters the were protesters fully, fully armed? fully armed in the building, like in the Wait, area. In, yeah. Inside I, the building? Yeah, dude. Like, it's bad. It's crazy. Like, they're... And oh, they were so like, what happened? I mean, nothing, but oh, it's... Uh, it's you didn't uh, even have a... You had a lead-up. You think that's a little intimidating? Like... Okay, mm. why the guns? Like, you want to protest opening up. Well, you why never do you... know. You don't want to get shot. Maybe they were thought they were in a... That they know. were going to get shot for protesting? You never know. They People watch too much TV, man. Yeah. They I don't know. Like, it sci-fi seems like shows. it's kind of like incorporating two things. Like, you know, Second Amendment rights isn't really anything to do with reopening. Right. But it's intimidating to show up with rifles. So just imagine if... Uh, um, you know, uh, some Muslims showed up. Oh no! Right, and I they wanted know. to protest something, and they they went into a Capitol building with machine guns and masks, and uh, you know, shouting and yelling. And oh yeah. Or how about in uh, California? Yes. In the when um, Ronald Reagan passed a law making it illegal to come into buildings like that in California with weapons. Right. Yeah, because yeah. the Black Panthers had showed up with yeah. the same type of aggressive Came to get attitude. that motherfucker. So, uh, you know, that was like a... It's just interesting how far we've come and how oh. that's, like, acceptable. So you can, like, get away with that as long as you're uh, a right-wing uh, white person. Oh, boy. Oh boy. Just, yeah. you know, that's what oh, I'm saying. Yeah, no, I like a little education. A little controversy. But yeah, if you look it up, it's just, it's like I said, it's like it's not that, you know, it just doesn't, it just to me, they're over, they're over top. They're like above these people, like in a balcony type situation with rifles and they're, you know, basically waiting on the answer to a debate. It seems like, you know, I guess in that case, it's like give the people what they want, but are they a minority or are they the majority? Are they a minority with with uh, weapons or are they the majority with weapons? No, I think they just think that they might get a chance to have a little standoff with somebody if they you get think? rubbed up. Yeah, they're idiots. That goes back to like that one we saw yesterday with the, the cart narcs, which yeah. actually that got cut out of our show. Shit. I'll get that back up though. Oh boy! But the one, yeah, the one yesterday with Dude, the those guys. Guy. I can't believe someone didn't throw punch that cocksucker. <laughs> you still thinking about well, it? He's a fucking idiot, dude. I, I mean, that's what they say. They remember yeah. the those three guys with the one guy like. He goes, "I'm a cart narc." Another guy goes, "I'm a killer. I'm about to put six in your forehead." <laughs> 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 and then two weeks uh, later, he shit. killed somebody on yeah. a train. That was the crazy part. Self-defense, though. And there he claimed, was and he was There yep. was witness. Witnesses of self-defense. He witnessed it. Um, Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a call in line. 607-373-HEAT. Heat. H-E-A-T. 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 And uh, we welcome anybody that wants to call up and talk about anything. We're, uh, you know, willing to... Uh, We're willing to talk about anything. Sh- so you got any questions, you got any comments, you got any uh, any stories you want to share, we'd be happy to uh, entertain it. 607-373-HEAT. Heat. Um, with an H. With an H. As opposed to feet. <laughs> right. With an F. Or beat. Or beats. Peat. Or- <laughs> yeah. Tweet. Yeah, man, we got the music back. Look at that, man. I don't even have to do anything. I'm like less juggling back here. Uh And I got Chris. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. It's a manganese show. Sonic Garden Radio.
Oh, yeah. Look at that. What? What am I looking at? We have a, uh, someone calling in on the hotline. Oh, we got a call. But it might not be. Oh. You are live on the Mang and Neat Show. How can I help Hello. you? Hello. How'd that go? Everybody always cranked calls. You're live on the Mang and Neat Show. Hi. Hello. Can you hear me now? I can. Yeah. They didn't. They just pranked you. Call them back. I think we threw them off. Threw them off. Better call them back. Yeah, they can call back if oh, they wish. Oh, I read. Yeah. Yep. Yep. They can. No, it was. Uh, it said. Uh, I don't know if it was a caller or if it was a uh, tele. Oh yeah, that's what I'm saying. Let's call Telemarket up and we'll talk to them. We'll talk to them for sure. Yeah, let's call. That's what I'm saying. Let's call them back. If I can get a hold of them, see what they're up to. See if they're as cool as uh, Trump's new press secretary. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, boy, oh, boy. Uh, is that the one that the the one I have of um, the isn't that so refreshing? Is that the blonde? I, yeah, yeah. Is it Kelly yeah, or uh, she definitely is blonde. Uh, what's her name? Carrie well, or Kelsey or I something like that. Her. I think it is Kelsey. Um, well, in, just was let at me it. see if I sent that one to me because I love this clip that I made. I made a clip of just oh. I wanted to just put it on loop like of her yeah. of the words that came She's out of little, her mouth. Martin um, Scorsese out there. Isn't that refreshing? That's what she says. A lot. What do you do? Is you. It's uh, it's that clip about um, how far crazy these people actually are, in my oh. opinion. I wish I could find that one. I do too. I thought that I. Oh, you know what? Oh, you know what? I think I did. I think it's on my Google Drive. Oh. Well, fucking. That's refreshing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did send it to myself. Good. I can show you guys this arm protest. Well, we're going to have a look at it. It might come. You want to take a look, Hold Chris? On. Don't pay. It. I'm not. You're oh. not in the main. Oh. You're not in the main oh. right now. It's not in the main. I just wanted to get to the main part where they're actually. Okie dokie. So how you doing, Chris? Oh. All right. I'm oh. Gonna, I'm gonna put it up in the corner. Um, no volume on it oh. yet. Oh. I have canceled the volume. I hear it. It's cranking. Weapons and rifles. All right, and... He's a tweeter. Cutting her back over. Them, Ooh. I have never appreciated our sergeant at arms more than today. So this is what people are dealing with right now in America. Um, the protesters Crusaders were given... Um, their temperature was taken before they were allowed into the building. But it's just incredible because like none of them are wearing masks. No. They're entering a building with weapons of death. Weapons. And this is the country we live in. This is weapons what we're of dealing death. With. And this is what lawmakers have to deal with when they're trying to make decisions about what to do to keep the public safe in the middle of a pandemic. It's utter insanity. Uh, we should have. I wanted to, uh, like, actually, the clip, though. I think they go on and talk for a bit. and then. They oh, go. they're little chatty Cathy's. Here we go. Uh, right before we went on air today, but let's take Ooh. a look at what the scene was like. Did they say Mount Upton? No, this is madness. This is crazy. Madness. Madness, man. Yeah, I did not, uh, you know, I like, uh, I like watching that show. I like Chank. Oh, 
killed the wrong legally thing. legally yeah he tried to run for uh, a uh, i think congress in california oh, really congressman in california and uh, that didn't work out for him i think it? it was that seat of the woman that uh resigned because of the affair oh remember that young girl that was having like a threesome with the with the girl with her aids and stuff yeah and then she resigned for it banging and then, out her girl secretary and I, and I think he was trying to move in on that seat oh. and uh he got beat though yeah he got, he got stomped yeah he's an idiot he's not though oh He's right. just they don't people don't like his uh, aggression. He's too oh. aggressive. Like but like he was at a debate and he tore the place up. He just it's just people don't want to hear well, yeah. what he's saying about right. you know. It's that same uh it's like I yeah, I mean in my opinion. I like him. And he used to be a Republican. So I always like that. Oh. Converted Republican. But he did create a pretty cool show, and that that girl there too, uh, uh, Anna, she's cool too, man. I like her. She's a little right or left wing, but but uh, that's okay. We'll put you down. She's smart. She like debates like the she'll like lo- likes to debate the um, what's that one blonde right winger? I can't even remember her name. Tory or something. <sighs> You know that one? What? That Tori, uh, the blonde. Tori? That's her name. She's always like spouting stuff and being really uh, divisive. Big Trump supporter. Oh, the Tony girl? Tony, is that what it is? I yeah, think. Whatever. Well, is this, what's, uh, someone's talking in my ear. Oh, sorry. No, I. <laughs> he was. Chank still was. Oh, there's Chank. I mean, we yeah. could like. It, you want to hear that lady? What's her name? Tori. I can't remember her name. Why? What's she got to say? She's just always got something awful to say. So, so the they were doing all that protesting, and the governor still extended it, right? Well, I yeah. guess did they? Yeah. 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 And I guess they left. They didn't. They didn't get mad about it. Hey, that works. May twenty eighth. She put it through till. She ain't fucking around. Nope. Guess not. May twenty eighth. Yeah, schools Who do got they call her? Whitmer? Uh schools oh, got Oh Whitmer? Schools got officially canceled. Oh. Until, around here? Yeah, until oh, yeah. Uh, the the school year's closed. Oh Gretchen. I mean we I guess I assumed that. Well yeah, I fuck I wouldn't if I had a kid, I wouldn't send him back. Jeez. Yeah. What no way would I send my little daughter to school? Let her get something. Yeah. So now it kind of shifts the whole. Uh, we'll wait until next the, year. The necessity of the whole thing. It's like all of a sudden we're all like homeschooling becomes an actual option. Right. And back to the basics. I mean, not that every kid wants to go back to school at this point. Right. I can't even imagine. I mean, I wouldn't. It's still, fucking hey, early summer. Right. But they're pretty bored, I'd say. Yeah, well, Jesus, I never fuck. Jeez, there's plenty of things to do. <laughs> All kinds of things to get your hands. You in. got you and Chris are in a competition of who can whisper better. Oh, you guys all can really work on your uh, whispering skills. You like it? Well, we test the mics, and then all of a sudden, you guys start talking in your little whisper voices, and I can't, uh, I can't get you. Well, in you there. didn't tell us if we we had to have our. You told us talk. Well, there's a into limiter. It. There's a right, limiter. Right. And the limiter cuts it. So if we whisper, then it becomes real soft. Oh, soft. Yeah. Soft voice. Oh, I got. What do you got? Um, Any nothing, more man. video? No more yeah, videos? Oh, no, yeah. Definitely got a video for Oh, everybody. you do? Hell yeah. All right. Dude, we don't cut videos just because, uh, you know. Just because you get us thrown out for some fucking whatever the hell that, that song was good. I'll tell that you was so. you still stuck in your head. That one <laughs> keeps going through my head. It's like the line is. Uh, and I can't remember yeah. the words, but I remember the song. It used to be freedom to uh, me. Uh, so good pissing in your eye hole and i shit? until uh <laughs> is that what they yeah. said and then i realized that i remember that part that i was only pissing i was pissing in my own gouged out eye I... <laughs> yeah. it's great it was a great like dude that midnight gospel episode annihilation of joy is worth I mean, watching episode five they i mean from um, what i saw to me it wasn't really worth watching no but the song was good 
Well, the song was based on what the story was about. Yeah, and that well, was, sometimes the songs are better than in, the... And the story... Sometimes in the, the soundtrack's better than the movie. Well, yeah, so you should have just turned off the visual and just yeah. listened to it. But then you would have been curious. You'd be curious as to what's going on with all these noises and stuff. And, I don't know, Angelo. And different Maybe. things. You're not... Maybe. A, yeah, you know, I yeah. like I like it. You never know. Well, that's good. It's very good, to, good. It's good to like stuff. Yeah. yeah. I like sushi. So what do you got behind you today? Shirt of the day? You got a uh, oh, NFA? NFA, man. Not fade away. Not fade away crew. Yeah. It's like the NWA with the... Not fade away with yeah, the it's all members the, all of the, the guys OG... Die, yeah, died. OG... Dead guys. Dead guys. Three keyboards and one Jerry. Pig, Keith, and Brent. Yeah, man. Yeah, not fade away. The love is real, not fade away. I like beautiful. it. Yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. NWA, man. Coming straight out of Compton. Yeah. Motherfuck me. Yeah. And then that one on your chest for uh, those 70s shows. Oh, yeah, that's Same a classic. Thing. That's a good right? one. That's a classic. Yeah, those 70s shows. Yeah, spin off of that 70s show, but oh, indicating yeah. the 70s uh, Grateful Dead. Yeah. Which, you know. You even got Dana on the shirt. Extraordinary. Dana. Yeah. Yay. Laura said, yay. Chris is back, except for we lost him again. Yeah, he had to poop. No, I don't know. I don't know what he's doing. He was over there dicking around with all the stuff, plugging. Plugging, plugging and, and chugging. He, he well, he had everything going. Yeah, and good. then he un, and then he was on something happened. And then he, then he's gone. He gone. Gone. Oh, Whitmer. She shut Michigan down. She said, "Fuck you, gun-toting cocksuckers." Oh, you know what else? It was cool. Uh, so I was scrolling through my YouTube and I caught um, uh, our good friend Phil. Over at his uh his Phil? Books, the bookstore in oh, Smithfield. Oh, the peddler. Pet. Yeah, the book the peddler. The book peddler. And he had Jesse and uh Jesse and Nick. Oh, um, little Nick. Little Nicky in the uh in the um studio and Brian was doing some camera and they were doing oh. a, a three piece, man, like the old days when, oh, when we met. Why don't those you guys. play it? Um yeah, that's a good idea. I, I know. Man. I don't I think do he'll, good. I do. I, they'll be all right. I don't think that the book peddler will mind. Well, we'll fucking take a trip out there if they do. No. <laughs> um, yeah, bring it up. Let's have a listen. What's it called? I'm not. I'm not sure. It's a oh. song I hadn't heard. I almost feel like it's a song Jesse might have uh, oh. just just written. You know. Oh boy. Right in a solo. Yeah, oh. here we go. It's a uh, fox in the hen house. Oh, JTB boy. at the book peddlers. Oh. So let me crank this up here. Give you guys an intro right from Phil. Like I said, I don't think Phil's gonna mind, but uh, I'm yeah. gonna spread this out a little bit. Well, if he does, then if he does, then hey, that's, hey, uh, that's no. I don't think it's that he would mind. I think maybe maybe Jesse? YouTube. Maybe oh. no, maybe YouTube catches it. Oh yeah. Like well. in, I don't he's not gonna mind, but I'm just saying if it's like they're like this is another user's YouTube, but yeah. we obviously have uh done that in the past. So. Right. Shouldn't be that bad. That's what we do. Take it to the fucking right, till I'm we gonna, get I'm cut gonna, down. I'm gonna just zoom it out a little bit. You're gonna see Brian needs a haircut in the back. This, oh. So uh hey, they, these are our this is uh part of our crew, all these guys. We hadn't seen Phil in a long time, but I know he keeps real busy. He did some uh traveling of the country um and you know he's been uh doing a lot of these uh videos just about his bookstore about book finds but also he gets together with music musicians and does an acoustic thing so i just want to oh. you know send anybody over to the uh the book peddler if you need a book and um need to read a book yeah or got like, a lot of uh, time or you know not necessarily if you're looking oh. to just sell a bunch of encyclopedias you know but uh, but he um, he's got encyclopedia. I'm just saying, like Britannica. He, he doesn't necessarily want to just buy all your old books laying around. But oh. uh, you know, I said on the other end, one. but he is yeah. interested in all that stuff. So he wants a good novel. He finds some uh, some really good really good stuff. So anyway, we'll yeah. uh, we're gonna cut we this over. Stuff. We're gonna we're give gonna you guys a song. It. So this is uh, Fox in the Hen House. All right, let's hear by it by the Jesse Tressler Band live at the Book Peddlers. 
in uh, Smithville Flats. Ooh. And this was, I believe, just yesterday. Just yesterday so, morning. So uh, let me know you. So let's see what we got. We got Manganese Show, man. Manganese Show, Sonic Gardens Radio. When you hear the book, Peather, I'm coming to you from my little shop in Smithville Flats. Right. I'm with my buddies Jesse here, Brian, and Nick's filming, and they came to do a couple songs with me. So oh, I, I think, figure uh, it's been a while since we've done some oh, well, music on the channel. I think they switch. Um, um, Jesse plays in Chaka, a band called Chaka. Hey, that's Chico us. York, drums. Oh. Um, and big shout out to those guys, Sonic Gardens, Angelo, Woo! Chris, Nate. I'll link up, Randy, I'll link up all your information uh, in the description. With that being said, there I hope you is. enjoy the songs. We're not as good at linking descriptions, my yeah, friend. Yeah, we thought he peeled out. He's back. All right, we've been wondering. We were out here. We are banging on the table. Yo, song's on. We've been beaten down, lied to and been tossed around. The box is in the house again. The box is out, the wolves are in. You had your hand called red. Even liars with the death of babe. You filled our ears with too much noise. The box is in the hen house, boys. Find a way to flush him out. Nice. Oops. Uh, hold on here. Where are we at? All right. You back with me, Josh? Chris, you in here? Is Chris back? I don't know. Oops, I got some other uh, thing going. All right. All right, everybody, you're listening to The Manganese Show live on Sonic Gardens Radio. That was a clip from the book peddler well, in uh, Smithville Flats, and that was um, our main man. We can't hear anything, Ange. All right. Well, that's because I got you guys all muted here. Oh. 
Wow. Well, All right. Well, thanks for uh, coming back in here. Well, thanks for what you guys us. were doing out there. Well, I was out, we were that, out here talking to each other. Break, we couldn't huh? hear nothing. <laughs> we couldn't even hear you yapping. I know. I I uh, I had to cut you guys off. That's fucked up. Chris, you back? Yeah, I'm back, man. All right, cool. He's the back man. He's the back man. You got anything? So yeah, did you hear that? You guys what? hear that that song? Yeah, it was pretty good, right? It was awesome. Yeah. So that was our man, Jesse Tressler. Dude, that's Jesse awesome. Nick's Tressler. around. I, I imagine uh, school's out, so he might be around for uh, if he wants to get in on some uh, Shaka recordings. Um, so, hey, guys, if you're listening out there, my plan is that I think we should come in in the same way we got Chris. Like right now, Chris is set up. Uh, 17 in, feet away from me. He's set up in front of the lion, as you can see. And I was thinking if we all take a corner of this uh, studio and kind of make it our little uh, workstation, oh. that we could spend the next uh, couple months focusing in on uh, doing some recording. Yeah. And uh, getting some of these songs down. And uh, yeah, I think it would be awesome. So hey, let me know what you guys think. Uh, and... Uh, and we're, again, just want to uh, let you guys know that tomorrow, Buckshot's brother's going to be in here performing live acoustic in front of the lion. And, uh... Lion. You know? We do our best to, uh... uh I guess one of the things that I think is that Look. the rules and the way things are are because people won't actually, like listen to the rules it's right. almost like we're expected to wash our hands and even not, when there's signs up down like at even, the playground they're still down there playing yeah they're still i see kids playing Me basketball too, down there playing today when i come in swinging on the swing with their ugly little kids oh geez yeah well hey what can not you everybody's do? as lucky as you have a cute kid <laughs> <clears throat> hey Hey. Um, Manga needs. Yeah. So what else, man? Oh, Chris made it. Hello. Chris is here. He made it. Rolling along. How's uh? What about Mr. Warner? You out there, sir? Oh, he's he's uh he's probably doing something. You can only imagine. He didn't hear you. Hello. Hello. Hey. I can't hear you. Hey. <laughs> See? Barely hear it, Chris. Without herb, any other thing caused distortion. Herb and music is the healing of the nation. See? Hello. Welcome. Still like, yeah. What? Oh well. Welcome to my, my, my. What? Fifteen hundred uh, people died today in the USA. Shit's not slowing. That's oh. for sure. Yeah, twenty-seven thousand new cases. Thirty yesterday. Thirty thousand. Yeah. The places that don't listen become the next hotbed. Right. It's the bottom line. We're going to have hot beds all over. That's why the way it shifted. It's going to be hot. Hot. China, hot. China was a hot bed. Welcome then Italy was the hot bed. Right. Spain. At the same time, America became the ultimate. Or right. the United States became the uh, the just overwhelming majority. And it's like, um, you know, maybe it is associated. Russia's pumping up the numbers. And Brazil... Yeah. Out there in Brazil. Yeah, 6,000. Seven, seven, nine for uh, Russia. UK had 6,201. New cases today. 739 people died in the UK. Yeah. We got a... Uh, what do we got? 18% death rate worldwide. Ooh. Yeah, man, 27,000 yeah. new cases today. Yeah. There's absolutely no slowing. 84,000 worldwide, which is when we when we really, you know, when uh, 
when China only had 80,000 cases China. and we're tracking this thing. China. And then we, we watched the world hit 84 a day. Oh, man. You know, like that's what we watched. And it, hasn't, like it hasn't, shit show. hasn't decreased, man. Isn't it's like just do? still going. Hello. 2020 shit show. Keep the shit show going. Yeah. It's amazing. It is. Wow. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, the U.S. is sitting at uh, 1,122,866 cases. Is that uh, a lot? That's a lot. That's a lot. That's um quite a bit. Yeah, I mean, uh, there's been 224,000 cases with an outcome, and uh, 29% of those people have deceased. Ooh. Well, that's no good. Uh, New York has 3,000 cases so far today, which, uh, so overall in the U.S., as far as cases, we're looking at this graph still. Um, we're still running above the 30,000 mark daily. And even if you average in, like I said, these couple slow days, and then boom, it's like almost like the... You know, even even uh, you know everybody around us. Like we saw, there's more and more people outside. People going. Whoa. Hey, hey. That's all right. Sorry what, to the listeners. What did you do? We had a uh, error. We still have. Uh, I have. It's all right. I cut. I cut you, Chris, on the main. If you can fix it. Oh. Oh. I don't know what happened, man. Yeah, just let me know when it's fixed. Uh, huh? You're good, man. Okay, cool. You're good, man. You back then? All right. Yeah, and uh, in high. and then you know the the death toll as well is matching the um the cases, and it's and it's going to continue for multiple weeks after the cases drop. So you see that same graph. Two thousand oh. two thousand two hundred and one yesterday. Climbing. Yeah. Death toll the whole thing so again we always go to um you know the uh if you try to compare it to anything else you you can't you don't know where it's going to place until the end they can only estimate and guess and uh, guess the bottom line is if you do nothing then it's going to spread yeah there, somebody gave me the old flu analogy today the flu, the flu kills a bunch of people I I said I said yeah uh, you don't lock down for the flu do you? No, that you don't. don't mean nothing. They go. <laughs> Okie dokie. Oh boy. Oh, America. Boy. Yeah. Land of the free. Home of the brave. Beautiful. Beautiful. Been getting a lot of rain. Uh, yeah. That seemed to. Yeah, last night. It was recorded last night, that that particular number. Live on the Manganese show. Yeah, we can go to. Uh, I got another video. Oh. That we can definitely pull up here. Well, like a. Uh, um, SG video. Oh. I didn't know if you had oh, like another, audio video. No, no I, I didn't, didn't know if you had a propaganda, another propaganda tool. I didn't or really not. have anything. Uh, no propaganda today. No, no. I, I was trying to. What did I? I, I had the one with the guns. Um, was one thing. Send lawyers, was, uh, guns, and money. That I was curious about. Um, there she is. Um, we'll find out what her name is. What's What's her name? Who's that? That lady. <laughs> Which one? Uh, the Trump's lady. Oh, right. Kaylee? That, yeah. It's old Kaylee. 
That was definitely <laughs> Kaylee. That's the one I was trying to find. Oh, oh man. I, I want to hear that. What'd she say? I almost feel like. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, we got a little buzz oh, happening Oh, oh. Felt like I was on an electric chair. You were getting buzzed. <laughs> My head felt like. All right. Oh, yeah. Let me see if I did. Did you find it? What was the video? What'd she say? Oh, she was talking about package? Or what was she talking about? Yeah? She was saying how. Uh, Anybody? Her line is oh. is that uh, Trump. Yeah. That we will never see the coronavirus. We will never see terrorism. And isn't that so refreshing? She said our, that? Oh, refreshing. Isn't that so refreshing from our previous uh, administration? They don't like she old... She said it with such a uh, snarky they attitude. They don't like Obama, do fun. they? No one. Li- why don't they like him? Well, we could uh, speculate. Oh. Possibly. You got some speculation? Yeah. Well, speculation. Speculation. Oh, I do have it. Who, Kaylee? Is that Kaylee? She held a news briefing today? No, this was like a long. This oh, was, she this held was, one today, though. This was prior today. to. Today. So this was prior to, uh, you know, even like the, the? the cases, even the first case. So this was before the first case. She told people she would never lie to them. Here you go. You have my word on that. Absolutely. This president will always put America first. He will always protect American citizens. We will not see diseases like the coronavirus come here. We will not see terrorism come here. And isn't that refreshing when contrasting it with the awful presidency of President Obama? Jesus. (laughs) I just want to put that one on loop and just... Right. Citizens, we will not see diseases like the coronavirus come here. We will not see terrorism come here. And isn't that refreshing when contrasting? Isn't it, that refreshing? The presidency of President Obama, Kaylee McEnany. Oh, that is so refreshing. It is. Kaylee. That's Kaylee. Right. Hey, Kaylee. She. Uh, I thought you had a video from what's her name now. Who? Um. So she told people, or she wasn't going to lie, and then the, the reporters say that she said something that was totally false. And what did she no say? No one even asked her. We don't. We don't have all the information, Ange. You know us. We don't. I only. You just uh, had a little part. I only get a little little tidbit. That's so. Wait, what's you know her what name mean? again? Kaylee. 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 <laughs> Kaylee. So, uh, hey, Kaylee. On. So if I look up, uh, Kaylee. Uh, McAgney. <laughs> McCainy? I don't know. I don't know how to spell it though. It's one M C E N A N Y. McCainy. Oh yeah. Kaylee. Okay, Kaylee McCainy. Uh she just looks like she's full of shit. Do they all look like that? What and they all have to have their cross out like God's gonna s- yeah, well, that's that's God part of, will save us. That's part of the uh, that's we are, part of the con, man. We are that's going to a good place. There's gonna be. I don't, I don't believe there's gonna be much. So uh, you yeah, have first, what? Oh, it's the full briefing, though. Oh no, we can't have the full briefing. Her first ever. See, that's what I told you. She hadn't even Friday. Had one. She did it today. She just looks like she's full of it. Like it's coming out of her one ear, you could see. Oh, man. What? We want to watch a little bit of it? Oh, we'd love to. Get to the part where no one asked her the question. She raised subject to it that no one even, yeah, she falsely came something. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't read that part. That's too far down. Tampa Bay 10. Oh, I'm just yeah. trying to find a good one to play it from. Screw buddy. Fox. They cut it out. She brought up something about old Flynn, Michael. Michael Flynn. He was a not. bad man. He's a bad motherfucker.
Did you find the video? I found it. Oh, um, I thought you were talking to me too about um that. What's her name? Tommy? Tony? Oh yeah, that's Tommy. Who it is. Tommy. La- Tommy Tom- Lauren. That's Lauren. Her. Yeah. Same like Trump image. Oh, she, didn't she used to have a TV show? And, relief and they throwed her off. hospitals. Now she blogs. That have been hardest hit by the she blogs. Yeah. Oh, they did boot her, right? She boot. She's too divisive. She gone. She too dumb. Of the 184,000 Americans that required hospital inpatient care. 10 billion of the 12 billion will go towards hospitals treating 100 or more COVID-19 admissions. Ooh. HHS is distributing an additional $2 billion to these 395 hospitals. Who cares? They we'll selected the- 395. Pandemic didn't a public health emergency. We want the uh, questions part, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hired Michael Flynn. There he is. So see, that's some hot We're stuff if they're Justice talking about Flynn dog. Um, that was an... That was what uh, she lied about. From yesterday, there Something. Mentioned how he feels about Governor Kent for the last few days. Stopped U.S. investigators from coming there in. He is. Um, it was of paramount importance. Sector uses in a year. That's extraordinary. It's extraordinary. Oh, it's fucking. Ex- it's refreshing. About the protests in Michigan. That's what it is. Uh, he essentially said that the governor of Michigan should work with the protesters. She called them very good people and said that they are very angry. Uh, some so of the protests I'm sure you saw included, you know, heavily armed protesters, members of militia groups. I wonder militia? if the president was speaking about those uh, specific members who uh, stormed the Capitol in Michigan when he talked about very good people. Storm? Well, the president was referencing generally that in this country you have a First Amendment right uh, to protest. I think that's something we all treasure here. Um, and we should rightfully, as as you have a right people. to do that constitutionally, oh. but you must protest within the bounds of the law. Um, he encourages everyone to protest lawfully. Um, and also to engage in our social distancing guidelines, which we think all Americans should engage in. Do you have any response to just the imagery of, you know, people with long guns, essentially storming the Capitol, going into face Drop a long gun officers, in today. And intimidating in some ways, some of the lawmakers. Again, the president says, you know, that we must protest lawfully and act within the bounds of the law. Yes. Thank you for being here. Uh, when the president says we did a spectacular job, but when Jared Kushner talks about a great success story, some Americans see it as a lack of empathy. What's, uh, you understand their reaction? Look, you know, Jared Kushner um, has, first of all, done a great job for this administration. Fuck and yeah. what I would say to that is um, that his, when he talked about a success story, he was talking about the story of this administration, which is a story of mobilization for the American people, the greatest mobilization of American industry since World War II. Um, of course, we grieve for every American life that has been lost, um, but we want the American people to be confident in the response of this administration, and that is what he was referring to. The fact right. that in the average year, the healthcare industry uses 25 million N95 masks, and we have delivered um, in this short time 75 today's million JB's birthday. N95 masks, more than three times what the healthcare sector uses in a year. That's extraordinary. You know that? It's extraordinary that you know some in the media were saying that we needed a million ventilators, and uh, this president has we haven't we've needed far short of that so far. Not not a single American has died. Later, and the fact that this president can look the American people in the eye and say, I am you know producing a hundred thousand ventilators this year alongside the private sector. Are you listening? Um, can you hear it? That's three times what we produce <laughs> in the average year. You're like, I consider that a good <laughs> White noise. Yeah, she didn't say much. Um, how old is Jay Reed today? Uh, He's not as old as we are. Oh, I know. He's a young lad. He's young lad. Doesn't she sound like she's just full of it? And isn't that refreshing it, compared to our last administration? Yeah. Thank you so much, Kaylee. Thank you. Kaylee? <laughs> Is it has Kayla? <laughs> he just likes saying it. <laughs> uh, Warner. Hey Warner. Warner, we need you. We gotta talk to you. We know you got a story for us. All right, here we go. All I'm right. really gonna play a what Sonic you, Garden song. Oh, now. I thought Chris was just gonna play us a Sonic Garden song. That's cool too. I didn't know where he was. Do whatever, man. Huh? I'm I got like Sound, like oh, he's got TD. Technical difficulty. Really, oh. Yeah, play something. 
Play something. All right, all right, all right. He all doesn't right. like to be put on the spot. No, I can. Oh yeah, we like a we like a. Oh, but it's not coming to me. You're saying? No, no, I'm not playing because as soon as I turn it on, like one little decibel, it's like cranking. So I in don't your ear, not in mine. Oh. But that's how I that's how I'm trying to play it with what I hear in there. Oh yeah. What I hear. So I wonder why. In my ear. I wonder, right. I wonder, wonder. I just wonder. I just want you to know that that's why if it. Gets yeah, that's right. Oh, it sounded good. I got you, man. Cuts in and out. Maybe this one. It sounds better. Yeah, you got good sound. It sounds like it's rain or thunderstorm or some shit. Coming in soft. Check one, two. Oh, soft. you sound good. Three. Sound like a little horse. Horsey. <coughs> You're weak, though. Everything's oh. weak. He's weak? Okay. Yeah. He's going to turn this shit up. He's going to crank it. <laughs> <laughs> he going to crank it. All right, dude. I'm going to play one that uh, I have. You going to play another video played, from uh, Kaylee? Hey, no. Kay <laughs> Kaylee. God damn it. I'm going to play a video from Sonic Gardens. <laughs> All right. And it's going to be uh, the Ming Je and Need Show. Jesse Tressler Band, Gypsy Renegade. Ooh, Jesse. Jesse? Recorded uh, almost four years ago. Oh, Jesus. 2016?
and gentlemen, listening to the Manganese Show live on Sonic Gardens Radio. And, uh, you know, in the studio with us, we have Mr. Uwa, the main desk. I am here. You we were there. There he goes. Mr. Christopher. That motherfucker making me dizzy. Run back and forth like, whew. Mr. Christopher at the... Uh, his cockpit, his new cockpit <laughs> in front of the, the old lion. cockpit right in front of the lion. And, uh, yes, yeah. we are running 47 days straight here of uh, the Manganese Show daily at around 4 o'clock. Uh, anybody that can uh, tune in live, we love uh, any call We love call a live ins, listener. An update. We see, uh, I see Laura out there. If you want to give us Who's a call it? and give us an update, let us know how things are going in, uh, in uh, Pinekill. That's where my sister lives. Pine Always Kill looking in, for uh, an update. Upstate New York. Um, Up. Yeah. Up. Near Middletown. Middle. Close to Middletown. Middletown. I've been there. Yeah. To hey. Middletown. Yep. Yep, yep. Middletown. It's on the way to New York City. I've been down there once, too. To the big city. Um, Yeah, looking to get 1,000 subscribers to our show. We've been looking. Looking, looking. Uh, thanks to all the new subscribers. I don't necessarily get, like, an email with uh, names really? of who subscribes. Oh. Sometimes I do, and sometimes I don't. He wants a mailing list. Um, but yeah, you know, a notification, we can give you guys a shout out. But, you know, that song you just heard, that was a Jesse Tressler band. Original? Uh, that was Phil. That was Jesse's original song, Gypsy Renegade. Oh. Uh, and that was performed on... Phil October, was tearing it up. October 14th of uh, 2016. Ooh. And that was uh, Jesse... October. Jesse, uh, this is like basically about... Uh, about two weeks after I met Jesse, oh. and uh, you know, I talked to him about coming in, and he was the uh, really the first uh, stranger, like a person that I didn't know previously, right? That uh, came in and played. So, and you guys um, hit it off. Now yeah, we hit it off. Together. What a cool dude, man! And uh, really, I was just blown away by his uh, his writing talent, and he's just a sweet, uh, you know, teddy bear fella, oh. and uh, you know, easy to get along with and talk to. And all those things. Uh, but, yeah, just exceptional guy. And, man, I'll tell you, hell of a songwriter. You know, I grew up, uh, I always talk about the Moon Hill Band and, like, Jeff Rasmussen and his influence on, uh, you know, my my opinions of songwriting. And I just really feel that Jeff, you know, could really write a hell of a song. And I haven't really come across anybody quite like that. In, oh. uh, for me, personally, right. you know, that, that, like, of people... I mean, there's great songwriters. I don't want to take it away from anyone. Tons oh. of them. But just uh, just the fact that, that Jesse really, uh, you know, his style and uh, the style of music um, hit home, you know. Love it. So many. Even yeah. Stolen Car, you know, that was, yeah. uh, that was something that was uh, evolving from then. Yeah. Some graduation music. Oh shit! I'm sorry. I I had uh, your music cut, Chris. I didn't. Hey, uh, he said that um, you could drop uh, that right out of there. The uh, the lion. Who? Chris did. That's what he told me. Oh. Yeah. He doesn't want to be on camera. <laughs> well, yes, yeah, he doesn't. Okay. Right now. Not right now. <laughs> That's what he told me. I'm not making it up. Why didn't he just tell me? Because he was, you came back finally. I he, don't believe and he, you. And he had done his 15th fucking pass by. Oh, he kept getting the leaving. He doesn't want to leave. Oh, I gotcha. Yeah. <clears throat> He's trying to avoid you. Call in number 607 373 Heat. Heat. H E A T. Not tweet like Trump. Heat. Nope. Heat like hotline. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's the heat line. It's the That's heat line. Give us a call on our Sonic Gardens heat line. Heat line. Talk to Manga Needs live. Share your uh, story. Call What's on going in. On. And uh, talk to us because Chris know. won't. We are uh, 
broadcasting. Yeah, we are. Over the World Wide Web via we, YouTube. How many days we've been doing it? 47 days, Jesus. Josh. You know what? That's three shy of 50. Three shy of 50. We're going for 50 weeks. We've talked about how long we can run this thing. We almost had an error yesterday because our video got blocked. Unfucking real. Copyright issues. Yeah, old and, Netflix. Uh, and because uh, I, I snagged a, suckers. a clip from Netflix. I know. It's not I, like it was their top show when you took a clip yeah, out of it. I, I honestly, it might even have just been the song. It may have just I been. I think it was because it was the video. Right. Of that little whatever with the dude fucking shooting people and shit. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> what the fuck? It was awesome, dude. It was a, it was a, the story. I guess if you're into violent cartoons with a story, yeah, it's great. I guess. I don't, I mean, I didn't. No, you, you, that's what you took it as? Okay. Yeah, that's definitely what I fucking took it as. Yeah, well, you didn't get the whole basics of, of what, the whole setup that I gave you that he I, was in. Yeah, I mean. The dude was a prisoner. Yeah. In a prison. Yeah, I got that. And I his mean, whole, just, and, and he I mean, was. could have told it a little different. And his ambition was to was get like, out of that prison. Right. And the only way that he knew how to get out of that prison was to. Oh, I got it. Attack. I just didn't think it was a, it wasn't yeah. a good get for me. Right. Yeah. But if you, it's that you like, and then it, in so the that's end, good. that's good. Yeah. But they kicked us off. Fucking people. Yeah. It's too hot topic. It is. It's fresh. It's a fresh episode. <laughs> yeah. It's a new series. For oh, sure. it Jesus. Like hasn't been out yeah. That long. It's tracking, tracking. And you, we pulled it from, they're like, fuck these little boys from fucking Norwich with their 125 likes <laughs> 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 or views. Total. Fucking t- total, total like tap it out at yeah. 100. Which reminds me, if you're listening out there, you know, give us a like. We like hurt. likes. You don't get any thumbs uh, up I mean, or uh, thumbs down, even thumbs you know, down. Make we, a playlist. Yeah, call it the Mang and Neat Show playlist. Yeah. Make it public. 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 So, uh, I wonder what happened to Warner. He fell in a puddle or something. Maybe. He may have fallen in a puddle. Yeah. Rain la- it rained last night for hours. The water was just a flowing down the yeah, hill. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was. You got that right. I got to put a roof on. Uh, oh, you're going to do a roof job, huh? I got to get a rubber wolf. roof. I don't really know anything Up about Up on the wolf. I don't know anything about rubber roofing. Oh. I, mean, comes I don't really in, know that much anyway, but. Comes in a roll. Yeah. And you roll it on, and then what, you like. Uh, use like black tar to like Ooh. seam it all or something. Yeah, seam it. What if it's uh? You want to lay it from the bottom up though, like you do with shingles. Right. You get it. You get it. Well, that's about how long it is, right? It's about the width. I don't know how how it comes as far as width wise. Well, it all depends. I don't know. You might be able to get a couple different widths. Do you know, Chris? No. Oh. All right. I didn't know if you knew anything about rubber roofing. <sighs> yes, sir. Yeah. That's a beautiful one. Well, uh. Well, the what? Untouchable. Tensions rise. What? Tensions rise as Where? many states move to oh. reopen businesses. Yeah, man. You sit back for about a month and a half, and then I just, you know what I mean? Maybe two months, not even know, and then they're just going to be piling it, and those states are going to become a lot. Especially any big city that flocks open. Not any big city, but some some big cities bound to fucking run rampant like New York City did. You know what I mean? Especially if right. you're not locked down. Yeah. And you wait two or three weeks and someone's spreading it around. Because people are going to be out there getting it done. They haven't been able, they're going to just overdo it. Credit card companies are going to win out on this one. They're going to have a lot yeah, of. Yeah, I mean, that's all part of it. You know what I mean? Like, people are going to go out and too, just spend. Like, uh, a even lot if of, they don't have it. A lot of my, you know, my car payment, my credit card payment. Uh, is like they're kind of auto payments. Oh, so I don't miss them. 
because I get lost in time. Some right, so you've been really time traveling that. with those guys on the cartoon. So I love the auto payment thing, but now in the situation like this, if you're paying your bills, then right. they don't care. So it's like all of a sudden, for all I know, they're slow playing us, and that in six months. You know, I'm going to have no money and I'm going to look back that all my money was spent to pay, you know, uh, the same old, you know, it, Bullshit. The, whole, the whole deal that it all should have been for load. It should have, right. it should have, it would have just helped, you know, would have helped everything, even beyond stuff. just to drop it, put it at the end. But everybody needs to collect their interest. Everybody and then needs to essential uh, wor workers like if all their rent and their mortgages whatever they would have made you know what i mean they'd have they'd more have money they wouldn't have had to pay time. all that shit they would have just got if like if they just paused everything then they would have made more money and all you know what i mean they would have made they wouldn't have made more money but they wouldn't have had to spend it on rent and stuff being right. and that would have helped an essential worker out a true essential worker that's what they should have done it would have gave people that couldn't work relief too but it also would have gave the people that had to work, they would have had a little extra money in their pocket. Right. So, yeah. They should they have take done it. it. Yeah. That's what happens when you screw the pooch. Oh, boy, oh, boy. So did you pull up a video of that lady, uh, uh, Tony, Tommy? What do they call her? <laughs> Let's see what she's saying now because. Now oh, she said something. Imagine that. Oh, people love her too. They just love oh, yeah. her. Oh, they just well. There's eat something. It there's up. something about the blonde, something. the blonde, uh, uh, educated. You know, like like smart. Oh, I've never heard her say anything educated. Not educated as far as like, uh, you know, she's like been to been to college. Well, like Jesus. You talk about is she educated? Yeah, I think technically she's educated. Oh, she just but, doesn't uh, say any of the smart stuff. She just no. She just the... well. She's she's created like a. Bullshit theory, like the rest of the people. Yeah, so she was she was on uh, she was on Beck Glenn Beck's channel. Oh, Blaze oh. is that what it was? Because he's another Blaze one. Foley. And uh, then oh, uh, she was terminated. T uh, Dizzle after she made convert uh, comments about abortion rights. Even oh, she's is, yeah, she's she's against it or for it. She's against abortion. She really. Well, hey, it's yeah, her body. Man. But nothing's happened with her recently. Oh. She got... Um, oh, I thought it was a hot topic we had going with her. No, did you think there was? No, you You're said, the one who brought her up. No, 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 no. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're Don't. the one that wouldn't let it go then. I brought her yeah, up. Yeah, you brought her up, so I thought you had a video. That's, I've been pressing you for the video. I thought you had... Yeah, you brought her up. I didn't bring her up. I don't. I don't watch any of them fucking... I don't believe any of them people. She hasn't been on the news in uh, like four months. Oh, she's got to have. She get, she's a blogger. She got a podcast, probably. <laughs> they give anybody one of them. Yeah, that's funny. You can't even like find anything. Oh, really? They, just, they polled her. They just like they did the whatever. immaculate poll. Poll job. Three years ago? No. What are you looking at? G's? Ask G's? How she's doing without her show? It was three years ago. Time. Oh, yeah. This was... Okay, so she got hired and then... Fired and then... Yeah. She pushes it. I mean, she just... I... I... I, I don't know. She just says stupid shit, like... Well, inflammatory shit. It's the same as like the, you know, it's a... Uh, the old button pusher. You're just, yeah, it's just button pushing straight up. Let me say some dumb shit and then argue it. <laughs> so, uh, Georgia. Make it even dumber. Georgia? Georgia. Didn't somebody sing a song about it? Was that Ray Charles? How come we can't go to the individual states here? Was that Ray? Georgia. Yeah. yeah. yeah he had yeah. it on his mind. Um, so Georgia has uh, uh, 1,200 new cases today. We'll get back to that. With their total of 26,247. Who? Georgia, the oh. state. Because I like to look at... You've been there? Yeah, I've been to Georgia. Yeah, you have. Hiked up uh, Stone Mountain. Oh. Heard of Stone Mountain? It's where they... I don't uh, know if I have heard of it, Ange. Well, Stone Mountain is... in. You know, we went there. It's kind of, it's awesome because you go there and everybody just is hiking up this huge uh, 
basically it's just a huge rock. Oh. And when you get up to the top of it, you can see oversee, you know, a huge part. But they have these huge, it's like, it's almost like a mini, uh, like a mini, uh, it's a park. It's mini a, bar. You know, it's a, it's a, um, like a national park, oh. Stone Mountain. And they put all, they put on this laser light show and there's like oh. a carving of, I'm not, I'm not sure if it's General Lee. I think it is General Lee. Oh. Carved into the rock. Like giant, almost like the um, right. You know, like the Washington uh, Mount Rushmore. Mount Ru- Mount, Mount Rushmore. Oh. And uh, and they like they say down there, if the South won, then that would have been where they had that that thing, and it would have been. Uh... So anyway, they put on this laser <laughs> light show. They put on this laser show where they, you know, so there's a real uh, carving of a general, you know, a, a Confederate general. Uh, you know, storming, and then they put on a laser light show and add other things around it, and people like the place is packed with huh. people and it's raging. And you and, walked up uh, there, yeah. The the hiking part's a little bit. That's like a different part, but it was it was actually really cool because uh, the whole community, like everybody, hikes up this mountain all the time, and oh. it's almost like it made me think of places like you know here in Norwich where we have like that awesome quarry and the Quarry. face right and it's like why is that not like an active trail and i guess because it's private property it is, it is. that's, that's why. definitely why but um but it just seems like that's a that's really something that uh yeah should to behold should have should have been like a trail. something to be somebody whoever owns it then just like they do with the any national parks it. they should uh i don't think they own the trail uh oh. maybe oh. the backside. But if you were taking that trail up and trail you up. and you like and you exploited it a little bit, then it right. would obviously increase people's uh, ability to go out and walk and you know things like that. And it just uh, so it's just a major difference between like where we live and when you go into the south, where it's like everybody's actively a part of that. And then here in Norwich, it's like a few handfuls of people even know about it, right? Or like you know, and then even less care to uh partake partake so it just seems you know but there's plenty of joggers and runners in norwich that are jogging around on pavement right it just seems like that would be a more encouraging well they're just runners they're not journey. hikers well it's not it could be running, have a run up the goddamn hill well so they don't want to do that too much so <laughs> georgia's uh they've got a uh, about 500 and um 70 something more cases than they had yesterday. Did you yeah, know I that? S- oh yeah, like uh that's considerable then. I'm trying to go directly to Georgia. I, I thought think I should. could. I, think I can't you do it. I can't see how you can do it on the world meter. It doesn't get oh. down to state. Oh. It only goes to countries. Oh, Jesus. Maybe that John Hopkins then. That might. You should go see John. You just got to hit the goddamn hit the one, Angelo. What? Wait, I can do it? Um, hold on. Yeah, you hit the one on the way right. Well. And it gives you some details? Well, yeah. It tells you how many tests, ICU admissions, deaths, hospitalizations, confirmed COVID-19 okay, so cases. Okay, so it kicks you over to the Georgia Department oh, of Public yeah. Health. And then, and then it lights up some, st- if you go down further, they got the counties, and then they got the colors. Tell you what. There's like those two little counties that have zero to one, it says. Like right. There's one case. Yeah. Right, one case. One feller got it. And then you get into, and I imagine and that's... you get in one to 263. That's got to be, that's Atlanta, right there where those hot, hot spots oh, the are. Oh, the dark burgundy and then the red, red. Yeah, man. Anywhere from 2,359 to 2,880 in the dark, dark. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. So then they break it down, confirm cases. Does it have any comparison, previous day or anything? I don't see that, Ange. Oh, it's updated can, twice daily. You can uh, go down there and find out, like, the race percentage of all females percentage of all males intensive care 
Oh, I see you. See, now there's one where it says like that would be the serious or critical would be hospitalizations. Oh, yeah. You got so then that, you bro. look at the confirmed cases, 27,000, and they're saying 6,000 of them are hospitalized. Right. If not a little bit more. <sighs> Yanni. Oh, he's yawn. He's getting there. You're doing a little <laughs> yawn, yawn. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, you got another song for me? Yeah. But oh. before I do oh, that, oh, here's a but. The other one I want to kick back to all the time is that uh, Sweden, because that's another one people bring up about. Oh. We got to be like the Swedes, remember? No, I don't. Okay, well, Sweden is Turn, 450 there. cases today, okay. and they are at the 263 per million uh, infected. Oh. Sweden. Where is it? Wait. 21. You're thinking of New Zealand. No, no. Yeah, you are. New Zealand? Yeah. No, they're not saying New Zealand because I'm saying Sweden said they didn't. They aren't obeying any stay-at-home orders. Oh, well, New Zealand. New Zealand has 19 dead people. That's it. But they probably no. Are, she put the. It's the one with the lady, right? The yeah. lady president. But what do you mean? She put the kibosh on the disease, man. I'm telling you. She had three new cases since yesterday. They did, but they're not fully open, right? Um, I don't think so. I think she locked them down. Yeah, they're locked down. I'm saying, is there anybody out here that's not locked down that oh, is not yeah. having an increase? Um, North Korea. Yeah, they don't have any cases, and they haven't had any yesterday. And they're not on lockdown. <laughs> I, yeah, couldn't, their I, couldn't, I couldn't hold it together. Their leader hasn't been seen either. I think uh, he got it. He didn't get shit. <laughs> He's just hiding out. He's so prob- yeah, yesterday. Over. Probably planning a bad day for someone. Yeah, there's going to be more new cases. Death and in, carnage. And more new cases in the U.S. today than there was yesterday again. Unreal, Ange. So we're back up. And we're not flat anymore. We're peaking. I mean, we're still at the fucking 29,000 mark, 30,000 a That's day. That's what I mean. It's not even. Jesus. It hasn't even broke down, has it? No, and, and 86 in the world every day. So it's uh, it's we're still just hammering these numbers. That's what they said. It's like a slow, it's like a yeah, slow Yeah, we had 4,000 something in New York yesterday. These people are ready to go. Let's open her back up. Let's get to it. We got to work. Fucking dumbasses. Anyways. I agree. What <laughs> What do you think, Chris? Hey. You don't have any input? <clears throat> uh, you think we should open it back up? Well, not us, obviously, but you think the yeah, state? I, I can't open it up. I'd go yeah. to work tomorrow. Oh. So oh, you, have, you haven't been doing takeout? No, dude. Oh. No. Well, there you have it. Are they doing takeout? No. So no. they shut. They close their doors too. She's ready to go back. He'll bet. He's Why, ready. Why? Um, Open. Did, her was out. there a reason? No, nah, it wasn't. Wasn't enough business. You know, it was like. Oh yeah, it I, wasn't. I happy. bet. It right. wasn't worth the time. I guess. I don't know. Right. It was fun though. I guess. It was, it was weird. Should have made a bunch of breakfast sandwiches. It's true. Sandwich. Oh, Tommy cooking it up like a champ. Tom, yeah, Tom? I mean at that. He's working it. You oh, know, yeah. even at that point. It, I don't know. Tell me, Ange. Yeah, there wasn't enough business because we're right. already in a community where most people don't go out to eat anyway. Unless it's you're not pizza. A huge thing. Pizza. Unless the... you know you got nothing else to do, and then pizza? here we are, like me, forty-seven days. I haven't had a restaurant meal. Oh. I realized when I um when I tipped the uh, the groceries that I got. Yeah. That was the first time I had tipped anybody in like forty days. Oh. And you think about your life of going around and you eat a meal, you tip, you, tip. you know, you tip here. Here's, and obviously I'm saving money. Here's a tip. Um, by that. And it's almost like also train me to cook more, to cook more and not be so like lazy about it, which is, you know, like even the theory of like going out to eat, you're not going to eat for another 40 minutes from when you like, you know, decide no. you want to go out to eat. So if you can make food in 25 minutes, the then hallway. what are you doing? Hey. You don't know. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's all right. I, I'll talk to myself. No problem. I'm listening, kind of. <laughs> I was listening to two people at once. <laughs> All right, now you can go back. Now we got him. Now you can go back and see how it looks. We got Chris all set up now. The great Chris. What's he trying to do? Look at the oh, line now. He pulled out. He pulled the color or pulled the he. He doesn't want to be on a camera. Nah, no, put him on no. now. Now he's I ready. Now he's light. ready. No, I'm it was a little light for him before. He, oh, he, he too much have, light. Yeah, he didn't have his glasses on. It was I too bright. He, no. Oh, it looks great. No. I have my glasses on, so I I so I don't this, mind if the uh, lights are on. Ryan, I don't know if uh, you're watching right now or oh. listening, but man, check out the screen. Uh, we're just gonna give you guys a little bit of a r talk about this lion for a minute. It's a beautiful we, lion. We brought it up a few times. It's sleeping for some reason. Um, we brought it up a few times. Maybe because it's lion. Um, what the lion? We yeah, we like up? we've talked about it, but Ooh, we haven't. Oh, what I, I told you, it looked beautiful. Oh, we've look never how really beautiful. showed it on our show, so it looks uh, too. Uh, it looks too good. It looks way better than it. it so looks, right now we just have one single spotlight changing the colors. And right, it's a white you lion. You can see how. Um, you can see how the light, you know, and the pulsating light kind of brings it to life a little oh, bit. Oh man! And I had an experience in here with light. He needs and to do a screenshot of this now. And if if you kind of like look at it and you just blink your eyes really fast like a strobe light, yeah, then you start seeing like the hair waving, right? And like like he's like, breathing and man. like a breathing yeah. lion. He's a breathing so can, lion with his eyes closed, <clears throat> getting ready to fucking eat something. You can see it, and then like I you could like lion. sit there and just say to yourself. Imagine if he all of a sudden opened his eye. Look how big he is. He would be able to eat. Oh Chris yeah, and, he, he, his, and his piano. Yeah, his little keyboard. <laughs> he just chew him up. Crump, crump, crump. Quick chew. Now I think that lion might have a chance. Might ha be able to uh, get. Uh, what do they have? That what was that big? Uh, not Godzilla. What was the other thing? King Kong or Hong or what was the, <laughs> the Kong? Uh, the big gorilla, or not the yeah, King Kong. Oh, I think There's... that lion might be able to take him. Yeah. Did you see that movie, the recent one? Um, the like one where he had to fight the other like uh, creatures on I that. I don't know. Um, well, I, don't remember I what they were. They were like lizard type of things. Oh, I don't and, know about that. Yeah, what, the, the, what are we talking well, about? Like King Kong. King Kong. He ended up being like the good guy, like defending. The humans. Oh, from that from lady, the, bad the guys. lady photographer. Yeah, that one. Like they made a movie about it. Where I saw a piece of it where he he was like the protector. Well, he came and helped lift a plane off uh, some other kind of like animal. Yeah, something like that. That dude from. Uh... Oh man, uh, what was that? I don't know. Hello. <laughs> that's totally from that. Hello. That that's from that Jim Baker. Is that from Jim Baker? Yeah. Hello. Wow. 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 That Listening is a to good the Mang and Need Show Sonic live. Garden Radio. Got a call in number? Yeah, we do. Six zero seven three seven three. He. H E A T. He. Wow. Let us know what you're doing out there. Yeah. Leave a like. Leave a comment. We would like one like, please. Um, and of course, if you haven't, please subscribe to our channel. We uh, play music. We got different banter depending on our energy level. Oh of, yeah. Uh, we're full of fucking our energy right now. And where the news is at, and how much we're uh, got our heads in it. We don't have any facts today so far. Not much. Not much. Picked on a couple people. Yeah, we just picking on people. <laughs> Learn it from the top. We take it from the tippy. That's it. Nice. That's a beautiful lion. Back to Josh. I'm going to pull the lion up, though, on the main, the big screen. Oh, yeah. Give us a little. In fact, I could hide that. I bet you I could hide the lion. You can hide Watch Chris. This, dude. Watch this. I can hide Chris behind Welcome you. Yeah, keep the Basically lion putting me over the top of Chris. Like yeah. a big box. 
They call me Boxy. There you go. That's awesome. Boom. So now Chris is basically in the same location he would be on the stage behind the green screen. Oh. Right over in your corner. He's in my corner. He's in your corner. I think I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Yeah, do that. Make it a little bigger, Ange. <laughs> do we have um we have no caller enters? No. Oh, Dale sent me this last night. Oh. Oh, is this Dale? Yeah. Sounds like he's playing. Looks like Ryan tried to call me and I missed him. Oh, what in the hell, Angelo? We need a secretary. Maybe we can get Kaylee in here. Kaylee. This is a hot jam. You listen to a hot jam from Dale and Chris? Manganese Show. Hot jam. Oh, he's in the middle of dinner now. He is? Well, he usually leaves us at 5.20. Oh. So he probably was nah, getting yesterday you guys started. talked till 6 though. Yeah, I think because he did a, something. He had a different schedule going on. Oh. Oh, boy. Just put that one water bottle closer to you. That's the one that disappears and it gets a little oh glittery. angelo gets a little glittery and you know yeah that's how we do it here on the man uh, need show no because it i it, thought i was gonna have chris up here somewhere. it causes a bit of a disruption chris he's up? behind the nfa oh there he is he's behind your, your now i will know i didn't see him before or it hadn't flipped over i must be way behind yeah we could do that line all the time i like that line man Hanging out with the lion. Yeah, if that if you move the the shirt, Chris is right there behind it, like as right. big as you. Right. He's right over your shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Messing with his whiskers. Oh yeah, old whisker lips. <laughs> that was awesome, Dale. Yeah, that was a good one, Dale. Uh, we About should get time. him on the roster to come in here and perform some yeah. songs. Yeah. You know, the all we're looking for is really like uh, three or four songs and we could uh, pull off in a show. Oh. Somebody that you can either get in on the banter with us or, you know, stay silent like Mr. Chris over there. He's got oh. so much he could talk about, but yeah, under too much pressure that somebody's going to actually in. listen to him. I think you should fill us in, Chris, on something. See, we just get really good at just rambling hey. and, uh, hey. you know about stuff. Ramble on Roves. Three dollars for that. Okay. <laughs> Cha-ching. Ching-ching. Uh, what? Yeah, man, we've been doing this now. 47 all, days. 47 days straight on this, but the three of us have been... Uh, Just the three of us. Trying to figure out how to put together, uh, you know, these shows for um, a few years now. Yeah. 1999. Like, <laughs> well, really, all the way back to then. True. True that. I give you guys a audio recording. Oh, you got a little recording for me. Who might it be? It's the Mangan Needs show. The bird fell. 
Well, what do you got? We're going to do a sweet cherry pop. Oh, I didn't know if you had some spoken word for us or something. Ooh. Can you play with this, Chris? I, what'd you say? I caramba? I hate it. You are listening to the Manganese Show live on Sonic Gardens Radio in the studio with Mr. Joshua Needham. Oh, yeah. Main anchor down here at the Manganese. Main fucking anchor. What am I listening to now? And joining us in the studio also today, Chris back, hopefully as a regular again. He's a regular back. Can make it over. And, uh... You know, that was a, a song by the Moon Hill Band titled Sweet Cherry Pop. and uh, Nothing like it. Written by Jeff Rasmussen. Recorded in New York City in the early 70s. Is that stuff um, from New York City? It's a cool song because it's about the uh, Norwich uh, Drive-In Theater. Oh, yeah. And our grandfather, Chris's and I's, uh, uh, he used to run the the movie theater he or the, the drive-in, and my dad would always uh, be responsible to help him uh, pick up after the 
the day. And uh, he was a responsible a young story man. There from, he goes. Uh, what you know, Jeff's Jeff's uh, perspective of helping his his buddy Pep clean up after the drive-in show and all the artifacts and uh, <laughs> remains that are found after oh, such a night. And, uh, when you find that lollipop and you think must have made her lips taste sweet. Oh yeah. What do you think of that one, Chris? Oh, he's out here fucking. He's That's doing a tribute the hot to laps. the Moon Hill. That's a tribute to my dad. He's not even to listening Jeff. to you. What a rude. No, oh, and a tribute to oh, our grandfather, Grandpa, the original Giuseppe. Giuseppe, Peppy. Yeah, <laughs> Peppy. <laughs> yeah, and then it turned into Peppy. People call my dad Peppy. Yeah, Giuseppe, Joe Peppy. Yeah, it's just easier. But my dad's real nickname, labeled in his yearbook, yeah, of uh, the Italian 1959 Still. Norwich graduate. Yeah. He was Francis the Rock. Oh, <laughs> he graduated in '59. You said, yeah. Holy fuck! Yeah, my dad's a not he's an a, elder. Not a, he's he's an one elder. of our elders. That's right. He's yeah. kicking it, kicking it in yeah, quarantine with it. my mom. Oh, yeah. Um, they listen I sometimes. I hope they're out there listening. They that do was, sometimes. Uh, like I said, tribute to Pep, tribute to oh, yeah. Grandpa Pep. Grandpa Pep. Tribute to Jeff, tribute to the Moon Hill Band, one of my favorite bands of all time. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. So we might get a, uh, you know, what? get a late call here from... From, from who? Uh, from Ryan. Oh, we'll I see. don't know if we have time for a late call. <laughs> I know your uh, belly. Your belly's nah, getting I'm there. I'm doing okay right now. I got a little bit of uh, uh, smoked salmon in here. Oh, Ooh, we could rip that open and oh, at least salmon. Touch your appetizer. Oh, appy touch. <laughs> touch it up. That was what I brought for my lunch today, though. I was thinking I didn't eat. You remember I, I talked about that? I like to eat before I come, but sometimes I just don't Some feel you like just it. Can't. Feel like yeah, it. man. I, I I drink coffee. I just got my routines. And yeah, all I'm of still sudden, drinking coffee, motherfucker. Yeah, I need a, I need a cup of coffee. That's what I'm thinking. I'll probably grab one. Maybe take another video break. Oh, we're gonna do a video break. Um, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be a big video. Excellent. Which one is it? I haven't decided yet. Oh. Let's let Chris entertain what? us for a moment. Right. Put the lion back on my left hand here. We like it. We like the lion. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. For sure. They're ready to go back to work. They're screaming about it. They're bringing their guns. Yeah, they got things to do. They are not going to let Trump go down because of this virus. And He's, isn't that refreshing? He, it is. He said you had the right, if you want, to protest. Again, I just want to compare that to if the Black Panthers showed up. Oh, I don't know. In their military that, gear and their weapons. They might think that's a little different. Reagan thought it was different. Or uh, imagine a group of Muslim Americans showing up at their state capitol, armed to the T. Oh, they'd be fine. Wearing masks. Oh, the old mask trick. You would never see it coming. The old mask. They've actually got all kinds of masks. Red ones. They all got, right, guys, we're going to cut to another great hit from... Uh, oh, you're going to cut Chris off? What is Sonic it? Sonic Garden's uh, what it files. Is. One of my favorites. I play it a lot, but uh, I hope the audience this is, is not favorite, huh? sick of this one. Well... This one's called... 
Beaver Meadow, Ooh. performed by Pep Jeff, Chris, yeah. and myself. This is a great nearly one, actually. three years ago. I was there. Beaver. You're listening to the Manganese Show live Manganese. on Sonic, Sonic Garden Gardens Radio. Radio. Yes, I think I think they gathered that. Yeah, Manganese show. It is the Manganese show. Sonic Gardens Radio. You just heard a uh, a version of Beaver Meadow performed uh, about three years ago by Jeff Pep and uh, Chris and myself at Sonic Garden at the old Sonic Garden Studio. Little cozy place. Yeah. Well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely was a nice atmosphere over there. Yeah. It was good. It was fun. It was not anything near what we have here. Oh, yeah. Not even close. This is like, this, uh, place, this place blows that I out mean, of the water. I mean, in the moments of living over there, I wouldn't have dreamed of having this place. So it, that it's was amazing like a, that uh, here we are. That was like a shack built in 1787 compared to this place. This is yeah. like, the, this place is, the, is awesome got this beautiful little floor that you put in here well manganese show I don't know what happened in there they're just chilling chilling what'd you do yeah what had happened what you got going on in there a lot of stuff Chris is hijacking me in here like oh. I'm not live on a radio show. That's what I, was I have wondering. all the I was time to accommodate and serve him. Yeah, he's uh, he's you're already uh, he's way uh, within my uh, limits yeah, and restrictions. Feet. Yeah, give him a kick in the knee. Beat it. Beat Go it, back Chris. to your location. Yeah, this isn't fucking romper room. <laughs> yeah. Lift up the door when you come in. I it know. A huge Jesus, it keeps, it, oh, it's loud as fuck. This guy's out of control. Yeah. But good to have you here. Yeah, great. It's a good job. You know. Thanks for coming to... back, man. Yeah, he left his fart and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy. Um tell us. Yeah, so uh 47th day. 
I guess uh, we can probably close it out. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in. Unless Josh has something else he wants to share. Why, what are we I doing? I imagine his belly's getting a little... Uh, oh, I'm doing pretty good right know, now, man. A little yeah. needy. Six o'clock, dinner is, time. Is uh, Trump going to pardon Flynn? Uh, come on, man. What? He's going to do anything he can in his life. Is that the latest? Well, I don't, um, he pardoned that Bolvoglowski dude. Blakovich. Blakovich from uh, the the old what was he governor or something? Or yeah, he was the Senate? governor. Senate senator. No, he was the governor when uh, governor. Obama, Obama became the president. And he had a seat for him, huh? And when uh, Obama's Senate seat was open, he had the ability to appoint that Senate seat to anyone he wanted. So he was taking bids, and he uh, was recorded, you know, quite uh, a. You know, angrily and yelling at people that he wasn't going to be giving up this thing. This is his. This is his ticket. This is a million dollar ticket. Yeah. And I'm not going to be giving it up for nothing. Fuck so cash was, uh, money millionaire. And they caught him, and they said, "You're corrupt, and you're, you're going, going to, to jail, jail, cocksucker." And he did go Get to jail. Get used to it. And he went to jail for several years. It looks like about ten years Ooh. before. Uh, President Trump came to the rest. Trump came and pardoned this Democratic. I pardon you, Governor. Touched him like the priest does the ill patient. You get a new life. You are pardoned. You get a new life. All the power vested in me. Yes. The President of, of the, the United, United States. States of America. Yep. They what did. A, they you know did what a beautiful all-American case Flynn, is all I got Trump to say. Says. You know the what? story of Trump, the story of the rise from everything given to you, and then you're able to become the president. Like it's amazing. Because well, most... always, I man, he should write a book. Don't you think he should yeah. write a hell of a book? Yeah. Too bad he can't write or read. Oh well, gee, that's not very <laughs> nice. That was, that was a low blow. If. I, Jesus, hit the guy right in the fucking knee. Why don't you? Hey, man. Holy shit. I know. We were just, I was bringing him up and fucking um, poof. I know. You hit him with a bat when from I your closet. Out, when I'm gouging out his eye, and, I'm gouging out my own Yeah, eye. pissing in your own eye. <laughs> Old eye pisser. <laughs> Fuck. I thought you'd like that. those descriptions, though, the words, the way yeah. that, that he described it. With that beautiful, bo- or her, whoever wrote that song, it was right. really cool. Oh, it was a beautiful song. Used to be freedom to me. You should play it, Ange. I can't. What do you mean? We get no, it. no, no. I mean, you should learn it. Oh, learn and how play to it for me song. every day. You I'll should play, play that, that song. All right, Chris and I. I'll, I'll get uh, Chris to, to. We'll break down the chords. Fuck are we? Really what's easy. going on, Chris, with the mu- dance music? I felt like I was at. Uh, what was that? Uh, I got nothing in my side. Oh, oh you it's because he's muted. Sorry. Oh, that. you got damn it. All of this has been muted. Jazz, yeah. What the fuck? Well, holy sh. If you remember when we came back in from the music break, uh, oh, Chris was bombarding man. me in my office when I was trying to go back on. Oh, now it's his. <laughs> and, now we're uh, gonna blame him. So I missed my juggling. Yeah, I'm gonna blame whoever oh, I have. Oh, there he is again, my good buddy, the juggler. <laughs> You like that? The juggler. You saw that comment? <laughs> I like listen to stuff and when I hear things I just put I put them on. Rat Wars. Rat that Wars. That was another one when we had the Rat yeah, Wars. Yeah, when sketch. we had the fucking animal expert in here. I'm still asking someone here. to go back, listen to the Rat Wars and uh, draw that as a cartoon. It yeah. Would be so cool. So it would be rad. So hey Chris. What? You, oh, you with me? There he yeah. is. So he I know we, we briefly talked about um, or I guess texted yeah, we talked oh. about doing a sleep oh. music run, yeah. and uh, oh. and I think uh, I oh, think yeah. that that would be a uh, successful addition to our station. Sonic Garden. Anybody that doesn't know out there, you know, some people sleep with Fill their fans on. Yes. Some people sleep. I with, do a fan. Uh, I'm a fan guy. Some people have those alarm clocks that have like running water. Oh, or, no, I don't do that. Part. You know, tweeting birds, and they sleep to that. And some people uh, go to YouTube and they YouTube. type in sleep music and they run sleep music while they. Uh, We're on YouTube. Sleep. And, uh, you know, they run them live. 
some of them are be 10 hour ones so obviously you don't have to worry about the the thing stopping and you know all that things so anyway we were thinking of adding a uh, live sleep music show from about 11 at night until about five or six in the morning so that way anybody with their six in the sleeping morning. problems and they want to uh tune in and just be soothed by the uh keyboards of chris warm ivory a little sample oh yeah of what you could listen, listen to while you rest your eyes and rest your body night night motherfucker drifting deep off into sleep sleep time asshole Recharging, energizing your soul. Time to go to bed, motherfucker. To wake up to a new day. It's time. A new day with new opportunities. Lights out, motherfucker. Uh, yeah. So, hey, anybody wants to leave a comment Mang and let us know show. what they think of us running a uh, sleep music with the beautiful soothing sounds of Chris. Sleep music. Don't worry, we won't uh, interrupt you with uh, Josh and I's, you know. You never know. Well, we do have soothing voices. We might show up. We might get a couple samples And I'll in whisper there. in your ear. <laughs> we could show up. He might show up and late. whisper in your ear. From the studio. PM, if anybody would like to PM. have a special visit from Mr. Joshua Needham. Yes. The Whisperer. So you're listening to the Manganese Show Manganese. live, Sonic Gardens Radio. Radio. There's a waterfall. Now we're going to slowly count down from 10, and you will be sound asleep. 10. The lights. 9. We'll go out. Sound. One of his voice. You are now place. drifting on into I'll a deep, relaxing sleep. Fast, soothing, send off, experiencing anything from top to bottom.
there's a waterfall. that land and there's a waterfall oh you know what as you were saying that drone footage if we want to get some oh. drone uh, drone footage, if anybody wants to submit some uh, drone footage. Just submit it to us. We can also... Uh, we'll use it. We can use that to do our uh, some sleep music visuals. Yeah, that would be excellent. Uh, we plan on doing like... So along with the sleep music, we want to get um, art. The great so knowledge. We, want, we would love for uh, people to submit some uh, art that we can put into uh, looping. You know, video. We basically need video of art, which can even be zooming in, you know, time lapse of uh, paintings, and different zoom, things zoom, like zoom. that. And uh, uh, adding that to our uh, uh, video. So any any submissions from our audience, we know we have lots of people. Um, another way to get involved with our Sonic Gardens community Sonic. and uh, what we're trying to do here. So um, anybody out there wants uh, artists, musicians, Give we're looking for call. people to come in that want to do uh, a set in front of the lion. Make a comment. Um, and join our show. Subscribe. You know? Do a little banter. Play a few songs. Talk to us. You're listening to the Mega Neat show. show. Sonic Garden Radio. Help me. I can't get out of the water. All right. Oh, yes. So I guess uh, we'll close this one oh, out. Oh, we're going to have to close her out, he said. And uh, got again. shit to do. Thanks, everybody, for listening. Thank you, uh, Chris. Leave a like, subscribe. Sounding good. And uh, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Yeah. Um, are you sending them off with a video? Oh, of course. Oh. Of course we are. Okay. And so uh, video we're going to close you guys out with today. What is it? It's the same. Uh, <laughs> the same. Uh, same uh, idea. Thing, same thing we're always looking for. All right. around here and that is um we're looking for a miracle this is a song by the light keepers called oh. miracle oh boy all right thanks everybody manganese show thanks for having us it's a happy day